You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, B&B fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I want to talk about the return of Taylor Hayes and whether she is back to do this with her son-in-law, Finn. This. What is this? You know that Meat Love song? I'll do anything for love, but I won't do that. Well, that's it. This is not that. This is this. So <laughs> everybody is asking, where is Taylor Hayes? Why isn't Krista Allen on the soap? And the actress replied to somebody that was concerned about her on social media and said, I'll be back soon. She said that she had some time off of work. And so she went down to Mexico to do some charity work. She posted that to a fan 10 days ago. And now we have a spoiler about when she's back, why she's back, and why she and Finn are about to do a thing. We're going to dig into all that. But if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our bold and the beautiful spoilers news and more. So there's a couple of spoilers that are weird. One involves Taylor that I think is a faux spoiler. I think it doesn't exist. I think someone typoed and made it up out of thin air. And there's another spoiler about Finn that I do believe relates to Taylor. Let's talk about them both. So Soap Central put up this spoiler this week about that Taylor doesn't agree with other people's visions for the future. And the only reason I don't actually think that that's a Taylor spoiler is because there's almost an identical Hope and Brooke spoiler saying that they do not agree about what the future holds. It just feels like maybe somebody accidentally typed in the wrong thing and it got picked up. I don't know. We shall wait and see. I would love to have Krista Allen back this week, but I just think this might be a wonky off spoiler things because none of the other official spoilers have that spoiler or anything about Taylor coming back this week. They just have the one about Hope and Brooke. So then there's a spoiler for the following week for Finn that we do think might tie to Taylor just based on some chatter that we've got, but neither of those spoilers were confirmed because both of them came from Soap Central. So the first was Taylor talks about the future and her vision of the of how the future goes. So that's weird. I still don't don't think that that is a legit thing. All right. And then the one for August 14th through 18th said Finn contacts someone surprising for help. Another version of the spoiler says that Finn contacts an unlikely person for help. And I mean, who else would be surprising that might actually help him out or give him some advice? His mother-in-law, Taylor, is a very, very good choice for a lot of reasons. First, remember Taylor and Finn did some deep bonding while Steffi was over in Rome. They were discussing Taylor's love life and the whole situation with Ridge and Brooke. So they were having a specific conversation about two people vying for the love of a third person and competing for them. So very informative for her son-in-law, right? Taylor is uniquely positioned to offer advice and counsel to Finn because she has been in this contentious triangle for decades. She knows it's not fun. She knows how it can be. She might even sympathize because she probably feels like she was the person that was done dirty over and over by the other person. Team Brooke fans would say it was the other way around. But in, we're talking about in Taylor's mind, what lives in her head upstairs. And she might see her as like the Finn character of this story and see Brooke as the Liam character of their story if they were comparing it. Also, you know, Hope... um, Taylor is a therapist and a shrink. And so, you know, the thing is being a head shrinker to your son-in-law is unethical. So somebody had picked up this spoiler and run with it and said that Taylor was going to wind up being Finn's therapist. I, I filed that under spoiler slash rumor spoomer. I call it a spoomer. And I just don't think that she would do that. That would be highly unethical. But then again, she was also Thomas's therapist at one point, and we saw how well that went because he wound up kissing a mannequin. So <laughs> hopefully she's not going to be Finn's therapist, or maybe Finn will have to go get a Steffi doll and make out with it. All right, let's hope that doesn't happen. But... <laughs> 
At any rate, I could still see Taylor being a good resource because she knows how Sheila can get under people's skin and get you to be friendly with her. You know, Sheila shot shot Taylor before people thought she died. And then Sheila has shot Taylor's daughter, Steffi, and her son-in-law, Finn. And yet Taylor was still civil to her, especially after Sheila saved her life. Do you remember that scene where they Sheila was up on the roof and I think Taylor thought she was going to jump and she went up there and then Taylor kind of lost her balance and fell over and then Sheila grabbed her and Sheila pulled her up off the roof. That's the second life that she has saved adjacent to Steffi. She saved her mom by pulling her off the roof and then she saved her daughter from drowning. So two lives saved. I mean, she's killed more people than that, but you know, at the same time, Taylor might be one of the few people in LA who can sympathize and say, I see why you're grateful to her. I get it. I totally get it. I also see why my daughter's upset, but she's one of the few people that might not just be tearing him and Newman at the mention of his biological mother. So Taylor is a big Finn fan also, and she would much rather see Steffi with him than with Waffle Boy Liam, which is where B&B feels like they're headed, which is making a lot of people cringe. So we'll have to see. But we have one more thing to talk about with Taylor and Finn. But if you haven't already, please reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Bold and the Beautiful spoilers, updates, and more. So right now we're kind of in wait and see mode first if Taylor is back this week, if that one spoiler that reads really wonky is true and she is back. And then wait again if she's not to see if she's back the following week. I still kind of doubt that we are going to see her this week and the week that ends Friday, August 11th, just because... Soap Central is the only person, only site that's got this spoiler where most of the other spoilers, you can, you see them in a variety of places. So you can kind of go, okay, this is legit because I've seen it on this site, that site, they're all credible, et cetera. And only one site has this one. So it's kind of weird, but we will see. And I definitely just see that Finn certainly could go to Taylor because his biological mom is crazy. So he probably shouldn't be talking things over with her because she might decide to go murder people on his behalf. And then he can't talk to his adoptive mom because she's furious about him talking to his biological mom. So another mother figure in his life is his mother-in-law, Taylor Hayes. So we shall see if they turn to each other to talk. Be sure and drop your comments on where you think these storylines are going and come back soon for more Bold and Beautiful spoilers, casting news and more. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>